Did you know that there are more than 3,000 operational satellites orbiting Earth right now? Yes, you heard that right, 3,000. Each of these man-made marvels has a unique purpose, a special mission that they tirelessly carry out day in, day out. Some of them are like cosmic postmen delivering our messages and data across continents in the blink of an eye, enabling global communication like never before. Others function like celestial cartographers, aiding in navigation and helping us find our way in this big, wide world. There are also those that serve as our eyes in the sky, performing crucial research and monitoring the weather, helping us predict and prepare for Mother Nature's moods. And guess what? These satellites are launched by various countries, each contributing to this grand cosmic ballet. From helping us predict the weather to enabling global communication, these unseen heroes are always at work. But what exactly is a satellite and how does it stay up there without falling back to Earth? A good question, one that might seem a bit mind-boggling at first, but it's actually quite simple. You see, a satellite is any object that orbits around something else. That's right, anything from the moon orbiting our planet to a speck of dust circling a desk lamp can technically be a satellite. But for the sake of this discussion, we're focusing on man-made satellites, those technological marvels that soar thousands of miles above our heads. Now, let's talk about how these satellites stay up in space without plummeting back to Earth. It's all about balance. The satellites are moving forward, but at the same time they are falling towards Earth due to gravity. Yes, you heard right. Satellites are continuously falling towards Earth, but they never hit the ground. Why? because they're also moving forward fast enough to miss it. Think of it like throwing a ball. If you throw it straight, it falls to the ground pretty quickly. But if you throw it at an angle, it goes a bit further before it falls. Now imagine you could throw that ball so hard and so fast that by the time gravity starts pulling it down, the curve of the Earth has moved away beneath it. That's more or less how satellites stay in orbit. They're in a constant state of falling, but they're moving forward so fast. The Earth is always curving away underneath them. This delicate dance between speed and gravity is what we call an orbit, and it's not just any speed that will do the trick. Satellites have to maintain just the right speed, called the orbital speed, which is fast enough to counteract the pull of gravity, but not so fast that they'll fly off into space. So, satellites are essentially objects in space, kept in orbit by the very same force that keeps us grounded, gravity. A satellite is much more than a piece of metal floating in space, it's a complex machine built with precision. Just like a spacefaring Swiss watch, a satellite is made up of numerous intricate parts, each playing a pivotal role in its function. But if we were to break it down, we could categorize these components into two primary sections, the payload and the bus. The payload, as the name suggests, is the load that the satellite carries. But we're not talking about physical cargo here. The payload comprises all the mission-specific equipment and instruments. It's the part of the satellite that does the actual work. For a weather satellite, the payload might include advanced cameras and sensors to monitor atmospheric conditions. For a communication satellite, it could be the transponders that receive and transmit signals back to Earth. Then we have the bus or the service module. Now this isn't a vehicle for commuting, rather it's the support system for the payload. It's the backbone that houses all the vital systems needed for the satellite's operation. The bus includes the command and control system, the attitude and orbit control system, and the power system. The power system is especially crucial. It's like the heart of the satellite pumping energy to all its parts. This is where solar panels come in. These panels absorb sunlight, converting it into electrical power, which is then distributed to the different components of the satellite. Think of the bus as the body that carries the brain, which is the payload. They're two halves of a whole, working in unison to fulfill the satellite's mission. It's this precise assembly and fine-tuned cooperation of components that makes a satellite more than just a chunk of metal in space. It's a marvel of engineering, a testament to human ingenuity and our quest to explore and understand the cosmos. Each part of a satellite, be it the payload or the bus, plays a critical role in achieving the satellite's mission. Launching a satellite is no small feat. It's a journey that requires careful planning and precise execution. The process begins on Earth, where teams of engineers, scientists and planners work tirelessly to ensure that every detail of the mission is carefully considered and prepared for. The planning phase is crucial. It's during this time that the trajectory is calculated, 
taking into account the Earth's rotation, the desired orbit and the specific mission of the satellite. This phase can take months, sometimes even years, to complete. It's a game of patience and precision, where even the smallest miscalculation can result in significant consequences. Once the planning phase is complete, it's time for the actual launch. Here's where rockets come into play. Rockets are the workhorses of space exploration. They are responsible for carrying the satellite from Earth into space. The satellite is carefully encased within the rocket, and when the conditions are just right, the launch commences. The journey to space is not a leisurely one, it's a race against gravity, as the rocket must reach a certain speed, known as escape velocity. To break free from the Earth's gravitational pull, the rocket's engines roar to life, propelling it upwards, higher and higher, as it ascends, the rocket jettisons parts of itself to reduce weight and increase speed, a process called staging. Once the rocket reaches the desired altitude, it's time for the satellite to separate. This is a critical moment as the satellite must be released at just the right time to ensure it enters its planned orbit. It's a delicate ballet performed at thousands of miles per hour, high above the Earth. Once launched and in the right orbit, the satellite is ready to start its mission. It's a testament to human ingenuity and determination. A beacon of knowledge in the vast expanse of space, each satellite is a small piece of us, a representation of our curiosity and our desire to understand the universe around us. Once in space, how does a satellite do its job? That's the question we're unpacking in this segment. Satellites are like celestial postmen delivering packets of information from one point to another. Only their route is the vast expanse of space and their letters are signals brimming with data. The heart of this communication process lies in the satellite's antennas and transponders. The antenna, like the ears and mouth of the satellite, listens for signals sent from Earth and speaks back to us. It's a two-way conversation that keeps the satellite and ground stations connected. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Imagine a satellite receiving a signal from a ground station. The signal, which is essentially an electromagnetic wave, is picked up by the satellite's antenna. This wave is then fed into the transponder. The transponder, a sort of celestial translator, takes this signal and converts it into a form that can be sent back to Earth. It amplifies the signal, changes its frequency, and then sends it back to Earth. This frequency change prevents the outgoing signal from interfering with the incoming one. It's like ensuring two people on walkie-talkies don't speak at the same time. What's more, a single satellite can have multiple transponders, each working on a different frequency. This allows the satellite to handle numerous signals simultaneously, much like a switchboard operator connecting multiple phone calls. This intricate dance of signals isn't just for show, it's what allows us to watch live broadcasts from the other side of the world, navigate our roads with GPS, predict the weather, and even explore distant planets. Remember, each time you check your phone for directions, watch the news, or marvel at images from Mars, there's a satellite up there communicating incessantly with Earth. It's picking up signals, processing them, and sending them back, all in a day's work. Through this exchange of signals, satellites provide us with invaluable data and services. So next time you look up at the night sky, spare a thought for these tireless cosmic couriers. So let's sum it all up. Think of a satellite as a celestial detective, launched from Earth into the great beyond. Its mission to orbit our planet, gathering crucial data and sending it back home. Like a marathon runner, it embarks on its journey with a powerful leap, the launch. Propelled by a rocket, it escapes the Earth's gravitational pull and finds its path in the boundless expanse of space. Once settled in its orbit, the satellite springs into action. Like a vigilant observer, it constantly scans and communicates, turning raw data into valuable information. It's a round-the-clock job with no days off. Yet, it's a job these tireless instruments perform with unwavering precision. And all this while, they're invisible to the naked eye quietly humming their symphony in the backdrop of our daily lives. In essence, satellites are our eyes and ears in space, constantly orbiting Earth and silently shaping our lives in ways we may not even realize.